Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm extremely happy to be reviewing Britney Spears' Radiance. Now this was her ninth fragrance and was a whole new pillow fragrance for her and was set to presume like girly essence and beauty and her idea for it was kind of to um, make girls feel beautiful and feminine and whatnot and that's kind of what all her fragrances do but this one was to do it a little bit more and it pursued um more girliness and whatnot by the box design and the bottle design with it being kind of this gem encrusted look and sort of thing so Britney Spears's radius the box looks like this it's kind of this metallic -y, incandescent rainbow looking thing and it says radiance by Britney Spears on the front and then it's got this cool little like jewel design that goes all the way around. There's nothing really on the top except for the where the jewels kind of crease over and then there's just a bunch of information on the back. So the notes for this fragrance, well here I'll show you the bottle real quick. So I actually have three different sizes of the bottle. So this is the 100ml and it's kind of cool because it's got all these little gems and different whatnots on it. And then I've got the one ounce and I've also got the, I believe this is the half an ounce. Yeah, this is the 15ml. 0.5 ounce. So this one is really just a smaller version of this. There's not really much difference except for it's just smaller and the gems are smaller. But the cool thing that I did notice about the Radiance bottle and so you got this big one but then once you go and it says Radiance on the side here. I'll probably show you that. It says Radiance by Britney Spears right here on the side. So it's got this but then once you get to the one ounce. The one ounce is literally, let's see if I can do this the right way the bottom half of the bottle. So like, see that? It's just this kind of bottom portion of the bottle, if that makes sense. And the 1.7 ounce is this from here down. So it adds just another layer of stones to it. So this one, your top notes are red berries. Your middle notes are tuberose, African um, orange flower, jasmine, and iris. The base notes are musk, cashmere woods, and amber. Wow, I cannot read tonight. So, this one is different. It's kind of got this airiness to the fragrance. It's really kind of, I like this fragrance. It's not my favorite Britney Spears fragrance, but it is a really, really nice um, one of her fragrances. So, the top notes are the red berries, like I said, and you can really smell the red berries when you first spray it. But it does kind of... Um, blend down really quick into that heart. I feel like the tuberose is very powerful in this, but it's backed up by the orange flower and the jasmine and the iris quite well. Um, but it's definitely this kind of like berry-esque, tuberose vanilla. It doesn't really have vanilla in it, but it's kind of a, a little bit of a vanilla-ness to it. Um, but it's really airy and kind of fresh and whatnot. But I feel like as it dries down more and more and more, that tuberose just really kind of comes out. If you don't like tuberose, you're not really going to like this fragrance. But it's not like a straight out of the box tuberose fragrance. So if you like tuberose or you're on the fence about tuberose, this might be a fragrance to try just to kind of give tuberose a chance. Because it isn't overly tuberosey. But once you get down to the base, you get those um, the musk, the amber, and the cashmere woods. And it's kind of got this, the cashmere woods add a little bit of this woody creaminess to the fragrance. The amber also kind of helps to that. And then you get the musk that kind of is that powdery airiness to add to the fragrance. But like I said, it's very kind of this very floral, light, airy fragrance. It's very kind of beautiful. It's got like this beautiful aspect to it, if that makes sense, if you get where I'm going with this. But I feel like the, what's really cool about this fragrance is even if you like the red berries, the red berries do disappear quite quickly from the top. But I do feel like they keep popping in and letting people know that they're in the fragrance. Because they don't just completely disappear. I have noticed when I've worn this that the red berries will pop out throughout the day and just kind of refresh themselves as saying that they're there. But it does just kind of have this light, airy floralness to the whole entire fragrance. It's not super strong. It lasts about five to six hours on me. It is an eau de parfum, but it's not superly 
it's got this airiness that doesn't make it too overly sticky floral. So it's, but it's just like a very light, breezy floral scent. It's perfect for the springtime. Just kind of a carefree, casual night out on the town, town sort of. Well, not night out on town, day out on town. If you're going grocery shopping or whatever and you want something just kind of quick and easy to wear, this would be something I would wear. Um, we did get a whole new commercial, a whole new advertisement for this fragrance. Um, the advertisement had her, or the commercial was her, like, going to, like, it was, like, Pop Rossi or something, and she, like, went into this tent with this fortune teller, and she asked the fortune teller, or the fortune teller asked her if she wanted to know what her destiny was, and she said, no, I'll choose my own destiny, and that ended up being, like, the tagline for the fragrance, it was Radiance, Choose Your Own Destiny. What's really weird about this is we don't actually have the ad on the back of the box this time. Not that all her boxes have had the ads on them, but this one just didn't have it on there. So, but, yeah. So, as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. That was my review of Britney Spears' Radiance. Um, follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume, and I will more than likely follow you back. Phil the eye. Uh, sorry about that. Um, if you guys have any requests for future videos, go ahead and, and ask them below, and I will do my best to go ahead and get them out there for you guys. And thanks so, so much for watching, guys. Bye.